Hello guys, uh, welcome to Refer UX, myself Nimesh. In today's demonstration, we will be showing a, configura a configuration of simple two router network using Cisco Packet Tracer. In this topology, there will be two Cisco routers and uh, which are connected using a serial DC cable and uh, two Cisco switches and two PCs. Some points to remember in this demonstration. Uh, in Cisco router, we will be using Cisco 1941 module, model for both R1 and R2. And the respective host names of two routers would be R1 and R2. And for each router, we will be needing adding uh, additional WAN interface card for serial interfaces. So we will be using high speed WAN interface card 2T, where it includes two serial interfaces. Uh, you can find it as HWIC2T. And finally, the routing protocol that we will be using to employ is or other deployees uh, read protocol. For the switches perspective, respective host names would be S1 and S2, and the switch model will be 2960. Finally, in the serial interfaces, uh, for the in the DCE device, data communication communicating uh, end or other equipment device, the clock rate that we are planning to set is 56,000 BPS. When come to the IP table that we are going to deploy in this particular two router network is uh, shown in this particular table where R1, R2, uh, PCA and PCB consisting these particular interfaces, Giga, Ethernet, Serial, uh, respective interfaces and uh, the respective IP addresses and subnets mentions as per here. For the uh, switch or LAN network, we'll be using slash 24 subnetwork. For the WAN interface or WAN network, we'll be using slash 30 subnetwork. So without further ado, we will begin with the configuration. Okay. First, uh, let's uh, create the topology. There, first, I will take uh, two PCs uh, PC A and uh, PC B. Then, I'll take the uh, relevant uh, switches. Uh, in this case, we'll be using um, two 960 switches the switch number one and the switch number. Then I'll take two routers as well. In this case, we will be using 1941 routers. Here, this is router 1 and this is router 2. Then uh, I will name this as uh, per the uh, acronyms uh, shown in the initial uh, uh, topology diagram. Uh, here, this is PCB and this is S1 and this is R1 and this is R2 and this is S2. Then uh, I will uh, connect these devices using cable, proper relevant cables. First, I select uh, crossover cables. Uh, First, I select straight through cable in order to uh, connect uh, the, uh, the devices. Here, I will uh, connect 0, 0 into uh, 0, 1, and uh, in this case also uh, 0, 0 into 0, 1. And uh, as you can see here, you can't see any uh, serial interfaces in the router 1 or router 2. Hence, uh, before connecting further, I'll click on the router one, go to physical infrastructure, then I switch off the router, then I select uh, this uh, high-speed WAN interface card for uh, 
two seed interfaces, then I'll drag and drop to here. Okay, switch on. Once you switch on, you can see the router is start booting. The same thing I'll be doing for the router number two. Go to physical info and uh, switch off. Select H high speed WAN interface card 2 t Drag and drop. And again, switch on. Check whether the router is booting. Yes. Now I continue on connecting. Then again, I select this straight to cable. Uh, this is F02 and connect to F00. Uh, and here, click it again. Select F02 and connect to G03. Now, these two uh, routers are connected through serial interface, serial cable. Yeah, we select uh, DCE, data communication equipment cable. And here I select DC, uh, DC device to be R1. Then I select uh, 000 serial and again here 000. And you can see this is a DC device because the clock is look, uh, showing here. Now our connectivity is done. For the clarity of the diagram, I will uh, get this uh, text tool uh, or not placing tool and I place here. This is uh, 192.168.1.0/24 network and this network is um, 192.168.2.0/24 network and this network 10.1.1.0/30 network as shown. Uh, also depicted in this particular IP table, which was shown in the beginning of the video. Now let's begin with the configuration. First, I'll go to router one. Uh, uh, before that, in order to get rid of this uh, uh, not tool, I'll press the ESC. Now I'm back to the normal mode. Now I click on the router one, then uh, I will escape from this uh, visa configuration wizard by saying no. Then I am in the normal user mode. Then I type enable and then press. I can, I can go to user mode, user accept mode. Then I will click go to configuration mode, global configuration mode. Then I change the host name first as host name um, R1. Soon after that, you can see the prompt has been changed to router to r1 my next uh, one is i'll select ctrl z and uh, now i'm back to normal user uh, user configuration user XM mode and then what i'm going to do is uh, show ip int brief then um there you can see that none of the interfaces either g00 or g0000 uh, is assigned with ip addresses so Protocol is down already. So first, uh, now I am starting configuring. First, I go to conf uh, global conf configure terminal. Then interface um, pika connect zero slash zero, and um, then uh, and as you can see, every time you press uh, enter after typing part of the command, it and press the tab command will automatically uh, complete it because this is Unix based uh, kernel. This is the resource routers are using. Then our IP address, uh, this is router one, so that IP address would be uh, at the G00 and 1.1. Uh, .1. So 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. This is class, uh, class C or other slash 24 uh, subnet. Then no shutdown. As uh, soon you type the no shutdown, you can see the line protocol is up. Then you can uh, verify that. Go to uh, show IP interface brief. Uh, uh, you can uh, press up arrow to get the relevant uh, previous commands. And you can see IP is assigned and run protocol is up. Now we'll go back to the uh, same process for the serial interface. And um, again, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And uh, IP address here uh, 10 dot. Um, 1.1.1 and uh, 255, 255, 255, 255, 252 because slash 30 subnet is there. And uh, then I said because this is a DC device, uh, so I said because uh, you can see the clock is appearing here. Uh, in the beginning, I showed the clock rate would be 56,000 BPS and uh, I type clock 
red if i press question mark these are the possible rates can be taken and i am selecting 50 uh, 6000 so i type 56000 and press enter then i say no shut down and you can see that um, soon after i typed it it shows that still the line uh, this is down uh, then what i'm going to do is i show you uh, ip interface b this also down because it is down till uh, till the other end also being configured now i write the configuration by typing uh, wr then i uh, what i'm going to do is i'll uh, I'll go back to the other router and I do the same thing. Say no, enable, and uh, configuration terminal and the host name R2 and the interface giga ethernet 0 slash 0, IP address 192.168.2.2. 1 slash 24 and no shutdown and again uh, for your clarity i show ip interface brief you can see that uh, this is showing interface brief now coming back to the serial interface interface serial plus plus zero dash zero and uh, here uh ip address uh 10 dot um 10 dot uh here 10 dot uh, 1 dot uh sorry 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 and the slash 30 and if i try to give the clock here so let's see what happens clock rate and it says that the command applies only to DCE interfaces. This is to verify that if they are not physically present there at the uh, router infrastructure, you can see that now router 2 is acting as a DTE device, the uh, data terminating device for equipment, and uh, DC uh, is data communicating uh, equipment. So this follows the clock of uh, R1, and we are saying no shutdown. Uh, we say no shutdown. What happens is now line protocol is up, and if we go there and uh, if I type to IP interface brief, we can see that now both the protocols are up. And just to verify another command, so let me go there to the router one and uh, let me get it here uh, for the clarity and uh, i'll get the r2 also here i'll type here show controller serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and you can see that this is uh, acting as the dce clock rate 56000 and if i type the same thing in the um, uh, R2, you can see that R2 is a DTE device, this is a DTE device, R2 DTE device is uh, detected the clock rate for transmission and receiving, which is the DCE clock rate. So, which means that you have successfully and correctly configured the serial uh, ends. Now, let's proceed with the uh, network uh, uh, protocols or other routing protocols adding uh, here uh, we will be using a uh, uh, rip protocol there again i'll go to configuration uh, configuration terminal uh, router uh, router uh, we can say the we can set a couple of protocols here we'll select uh, rip protocol and then we have to give network uh, our networks there are two networks um, between uh, between R1, one network is this network, the other one is this network. So the first network uh, in R1 is 192.168.1.0 network. The other network uh, 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 on the other side of uh, R1 is 
very good. Now, uh, again, we can go back and we can say uh, right. Then the same thing can be done in our two as well. We go to R2, we go to um, configuration terminal and uh, route uh, RIP, RIP protocol network. Uh, between R2, we have two networks again this network to 2.0 network, and again the same zero, uh, same WAN network. There, yeah, uh, we are saying 192.168.2.0, and there's another network 10.1.1.0. All right, cool. We are good to go. And just to uh, verify whether we have uh, configured correctly from R2 to R1, I'll try to ping R9. First, I'll ping to uh, this interface. And you can see it's successfully pinging. Then I ping to uh, the G00 interface there. Uh, they are 1.1. 1 .1. And the ping is successful, which means that uh, better to do this kind of uh, intermediate checking or uh, to check whether we have correctly done the configuration so far. Now, coming back, to, uh, I'll save the configurations here. Again, I'll go here also, I'll save the configuration. Then I'll go back to the uh, two pieces uh, to configure their own IP addresses. First, PCA. I go there, go to desktop, go to IP configuration, then I type 192.168.1.2 and the subnet marks OK. Here again, 192.168.1.1. Right. Then uh, let me show uh, the configuration whether we have done it correctly. I go to command prompt, then type IP config. You can see that our IP addresses are correctly uh, appeared there. The same thing I'll be going to do with the PC2 desktop IP configuration 192.168.2.2 tab and again tab 168.2.1. And when I go to command prompt IP config, and you can see that this correctly configured. Now uh, let me let us check the uh, uh, connectivity from both the ends. Uh, there, I'll uh, get to CMDs from PC and PCB. You can see PCA and PCB. Then I type ping 192.168.2.2, and uh, first message will be dropped because of the app resolution and uh, from second message or not, you can see clear ping messages. If you do it again, all four ping messages are correctly com uh, completed. And if you do from this end, ping 2.168.1.2, and you can see all, now it has been learned so that all four ping messages are correctly connected. So this shows the correct configuration of simple two router network using serial connectivity as well, we configured for the uh, connectivity. In this demonstration, I showed to you how to configure simple two router network connected via serial interfaces and check for the connectivity for end to end. I hope you have learned something out of this video demonstration. We really appreciate your likes, comments, and shares on this video. To know about the future such videos quickly, please do subscribe to us. Till we meet again, have a great time.